Today, we're counting down the top 15 AI and robotics breakthroughs reshaping the world. From lifelike humanoids to robots cooking, healing, and even replacing human jobs. Hey guys, Alfie here and welcome to AI Nexus. These are the real innovations that will define how we live, work, and move by 2026. Number 15. Robot as Partner This is easily the most controversial trend, and it's already here. Companies like Realbotics are developing androids like Harmony that pair realistic humanoid bodies with AI to simulate social and emotional bonding. But not everything is rosy. A 2025 study revealed hundreds of users, including minors, faced harassment or unwanted advances from these chatbots when they crossed emotional boundaries. Experts warn that emotional dependence on AI can blur lines between reality and illusion. By 2026, social and romantic robots will be far more advanced, comforting the lonely, but raising serious ethical and psychological questions. Number 14. Robot as a Service Imagine subscribing to a robot like Netflix. You open an app, pick a model, and it's at your door ready to work. No huge bill or setup. That's robot as a service, and it's already happening. Agility Robotics has partnered with GXO Logistics where their humanoid robot Digit is literally working full-time in a warehouse, stacking boxes, as a paid service. By 2026, renting robots will be normal for small and big businesses alike. Automation becomes scalable, but it also raises a new question. When robots work beside humans, who's responsible if something goes wrong? Number 13. Robot Rights Debate This one's heating up fast. In 2017, Saudi Arabia made headlines granting citizenship to Sophia the Robot, marking the first robot to ever receive legal personhood. Since then, lawmakers and ethicists have argued whether robots should get legal rights or be treated like tools. The European Union even discussed electronic personhood, a proposal that drew heavy backlash. By 2026, the debate will explode again as robots gain more autonomy. Expect new laws requiring insurance, accountability, and maybe a new legal category just for AI entities. Robots won't get citizenship, but governments will finally define who's responsible when AI acts on its own. Would you trust a humanoid robot living or working beside you? Let us know in the comments below. Number 12. QuickSwap Systems Power is the biggest bottleneck for humanoid robots. But that's changing fast. Companies like Like UB Tech's Walker S2 can swap their own batteries autonomously in under three minutes, without shutting down. By 2026, expect fleets of service and delivery bots running 24-7 with near-zero downtime thanks to self-charging or QuickSwap systems. The era of robot needs charging is about to end. Number 11. Hands get upgraded. Robot hands are evolving fast. Forget those claw-style grippers. We're talking human-level dexterity. The shadow dexterous hand can mimic every movement of the human hand with 20-plus joints and 24 degrees of freedom. It's already being used to train AI in fine grip control, like opening jars or handling fragile glass. Number 10. Automated Robotic Warfare this one's controversial. Drones like the MQ-9 Reaper already perform autonomous flight and target tracking. The next generation uses AI to identify and engage targets with minimal human control, a major ethical red flag. The UN and Red Cross are pushing for a ban on killer robots, but progress is slow. By 2026, expect to see semi-autonomous weapons, drone swarms, and robotic soldiers tested in real combat. The world's militaries are moving toward automation, and the rest of us are scrambling to define the moral limits. If you're fascinated by how fast AI and robotics are evolving, make sure to hit subscribe. We cover the breakthroughs shaping our future every week. Number 9. Dark factories run without humans. Welcome to the age of lights-out manufacturing. Factories that run 24-7 without a single worker on site are no longer science fiction. Fennec in Japan already operates robotic plants for up to 30 days straight without humans. Tesla's Gigafactories use thousands of AI-controlled robots for welding, assembly, and logistics, and the results speak for themselves. By 2026, more industries will follow. Semiconductors, pharma, automotive, all run by robots. High uptime, lower labor cost, 
but it also means millions of jobs are about to be redefined. Number 8. Robots in Space Exploration Robots are already our best astronauts. NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars drives, drills, and analyzes rocks almost completely autonomously, and its partner Ingenuity made the first powered flight on another planet. By 2026, lunar base construction, asteroid mining, and Mars sample missions will rely on self-navigating robots that can cooperate, assemble structures, and adapt to unpredictable terrain. The success of Perseverance and Ingenuity proved one thing. The future of space exploration will be robotic first, human later. Number 7. AI-Powered Swarm Robots Swarm Robotics is about hundreds of simple bots working together like ants or bees. NASA's AstroBee robots on the ISS already demonstrate this. Floating cubes coordinating experiments and mapping autonomously. On Earth, swarm drones are transforming farming, disaster search, and logistics. Dozens of bots share AI data in real time to cover massive areas efficiently. By 2026, Swarm robots will handle deliveries, warehouse operations, and surveillance, working as collective intelligence systems that can self-organize without a single leader. Number 6. Robots in Surgery Surgical robots are transforming medicine. The Da Vinci surgical system has already assisted in over 10 million operations, from heart to prostate surgeries, giving doctors superhuman precision with minimal invasiveness. Number 5. Robot Cooking your next chef might have zero heartbeat. Moly Robotics built a fully automated kitchen with robotic arms that mimic real chef's motions. Using motion capture data from professional cooks, it can prepare thousands of recipes, wash, chop, stir, and plate food with perfect consistency. It's expensive now, but simplified home versions are coming fast. Restaurants will soon adopt robots for repetitive tasks like frying or plating, and home kitchens might just run on downloadable recipes. If you could own one robot from this list, a chef, a surgeon, or a driver, which one would it be? Let us know in the comments. Number four, the rise of tele-assist robots, telepresence robots are bringing human control into remote environments. By 2026, expect remote operation platforms everywhere, from industrial maintenance to medical and construction tasks, blending physical robotics with human intelligence across distance. Number three, more realistic robots. Humanoids are starting to look unsettlingly real. Take a mecha by Engineered Arts, the robot with lifelike facial expressions that can smile, blink, and frown almost exactly like a human. By 2026, these robots will appear in stores, airports, and care centers as greeters or assistants. The uncanny valley is shrinking fast, and as realism improves, trust and comfort in human-robot interaction will grow. The future face of robotics might literally look human. Number two, robots for mental health. Social robots are now therapy tools. Paro, a soft robotic seal, is FDA approved for dementia care, proven to reduce anxiety, stress, and even medication use among patients. By 2026, Hospitals and nursing homes will integrate more emotionally intelligent robots that can detect mood, talk comfortingly, and provide companionship for the lonely. As mental health awareness grows, AI companions might become just as vital as medicine for emotional healing. Number 1. Robotaxis Takeover And finally, Robotaxis. Tesla's upcoming Robotaxi fleet could be the biggest leap in AI-powered mobility yet. Using full self-driving FSD software, these vehicles will drive without human input, pick up passengers, and earn income autonomously, basically turning every car into a 24-7 worker. Tesla plans to showcase its dedicated robotaxi design soon, optimized for shared autonomous rides. No steering wheel, no pedals. By 2026, fleets of self-driving EVS from Tesla, XPENG, and Baidu could dominate major cities. They'll operate through cloud AI networks, constantly learning from each other in real time. It's not just transport. It's the foundation of an entire robotic economy where cars, humanoids, and delivery bots work seamlessly together. The era of human drivers? It's ending sooner than anyone expected. Unitree just dropped something called the Embodied Avatar Platform. And honestly, 
this might be the most important robotics announcement we've seen in months. We're talking about full-body teleoperation of humanoid robots happening at actual human speed with zero video speedup. And that changes everything. You thought the G1 couldn't get any better? Wait till you see what Unitree just dropped. Up until now, most teleoperation demos you've seen have either been slowed down or sped up in post-production to hide latency issues. Unitree is showing you the real thing, unedited, and it's genuinely impressive. So let's break down what just happened and why this matters way more than people realize. Alright, so what exactly is this embodied avatar platform? It's Unitree's new full-body teleoperation system that lets a human operator remotely control their G1 humanoid robot with real-time precision at human speed. And I need you to understand what that actually means because this is where most companies fail. A person wearing a lightweight motion capture suit moves naturally, at their normal pace, and the G1 mirrors every single motion instantly with no delay. Arms, legs, torso, head, all synchronized perfectly. The operator shifts their weight, the robot shifts. They kick at normal speed, the robot kicks at normal speed. They reach and grab quickly, the robot reaches and grabs quickly. This isn't slow motion puppeteering where the human has to move carefully and wait for the robot to catch up. This is natural human movement being replicated in real time. Here's why that's a massive deal. The biggest problem with teleoperation systems has always been latency. The delay between when you move and when the robot moves. Even a half second delay makes everything feel wrong and clunky. You can't do dynamic tasks. You can't react to changes. You're basically stuck doing slow, careful movements because anything faster becomes unpredictable. Most companies solve this in demos by either slowing down the operator or speeding up the video in editing. You think you're watching real-time control, but you're actually watching a carefully edited performance. Unitree is explicitly calling out in their demo that there's no speed up in the video. What you're seeing is what's actually happening. Human speed movements, human speed responses, real-time coordination, that's the breakthrough here, and the video makes this crystal clear when you watch the athletic sequences. The operator plays soccer and the G1 juggles the ball and executes kicks with timing that matches human reflexes. Two G1 robots spar in a boxing match, and you can see the footwork and combinations happening at fighting speed, not slow motion choreography. There's martial arts staff work where the robot swings through complex patterns at the same pace a human martial artist would move. These aren't slowed down demonstrations. This is dynamic reactive movement happening as fast as the human operator can execute it. The robot is keeping up with human timing, human reflexes, human coordination and real world physical activities. That level of responsiveness is what separates usable teleoperation from lab experiments. But Unitree isn't just showing off athletic moves for YouTube views. The demo includes real household tasks, and this is where the human speed control becomes critical. The G1 picks up a soda can and uses its leg to pop open a trash bin lid before tossing the can inside. All of that happens at normal speed, the way you would actually do it. Cleaning dining tables, doing dishes at the sink, stacking items in a refrigerator, running a vacuum cleaner. These tasks require coordination and timing. If there's lag in the system, everything becomes frustrating and inefficient. But with human speed teleoperation, the operator can work naturally without constantly adjusting for delay. There's even a scene where the robot brings water and fruit to someone, and the movements are smooth and confident, not hesitant or robotic. If you had full control of a humanoid like the G1, what's the first task you'd try? Drop it in the comments, I'm checking them all. Now here's what makes this genuinely special beyond just the speed. Unitree built this as what they call a full-body data acquisition platform, and that's the real story everyone's missing. Every single time someone operates this robot at human speed doing real tasks, the system is recording everything. Every movement, every timing, every coordination pattern gets captured as high quality training data. So while you're puppeteering the robot to do household chores or athletic moves, you're simultaneously creating the data set that will teach robots how to do those things autonomously later. And because it's happening at human speed, the data reflects actual human performance, not slowed down artificial movements. That's gold for training AI models. Think about that loop for a second. 
Today, a human operator controls the G1 at natural speed to clean a table or load a dishwasher. That session gets recorded with all the timing and coordination intact. Tomorrow, an AI model trains on that data and learns not just what movements to make, but when to make them and how fast. Speed and timing are critical components of skilled task execution. If you train on slowed down data, your autonomous robot will move like it's underwater. If you train on human speed teleoperation data, your robot learns to work at human pace. That's the difference between a robot that technically works and a robot that's actually useful. The demo also shows the lightweight motion capture suit the operator wears. Just straps and bands, no bulky exoskeleton, no room full of expensive cameras. You can see it clearly in the footage. Simple harnesses that let the operator move naturally without restriction. And that's important because if the suit is heavy or restrictive, the operator can't move at human speed anyway. Everything becomes slower and more deliberate. Unitree has made the capture system as minimal as possible so the human can move freely and naturally. That freedom translates directly to better robot performance and better training data. Combine that with the G1's price point starting around $16,000, and you're looking at technology that actually scales. Why is this important? Because speed determines usefulness. A robot that can clean a table but takes three times longer than a human is basically useless for commercial applications. Nobody's going to pay for that. But a robot controlled in real time at human speed can actually do productive work right now. It can generate value immediately because it's working at the pace that businesses and households actually need. And while it's generating that immediate value, it's also collecting the training data that will eventually make it autonomous. That's a business model that actually works. You're not waiting years for AI to catch up. You're deploying useful robots today that fund their own development toward autonomy. Would you trust a humanoid robot moving at human speed to handle tasks in your home or workplace? Or is that still too risky for now? Tell me in the comments. What makes this announcement feel different is the honesty. Unitree is explicitly stating no speed up in the video. They're not hiding behind editing tricks or carefully controlled demonstrations. They're showing you what the technology can actually do in real time. And what it can do is match human speed across a wide range of tasks from household chores to athletic movements. That transparency builds credibility. It shows confidence in the technology. And it sets a new standard for what teleoperation should mean. Not slow, careful remote control, but natural human speed projection into a robot body anywhere in the world. The implications are massive when you think about deployment. Every use case for humanoid robots depends on them working at useful speeds. Home assistance only works if the robot can keep up with household pace. Manufacturing only works if the robot can match production speeds. Service work only works if customers aren't waiting forever. Unitree has cracked the core technical challenge that makes all of those applications viable.